Hey everyone. Yes, I am live. So good to be here with you. I have very interesting topping to share with you. That is vegetables, cooking, the methods of cooking vegetables. And I will share, I think, four ways for you. Um, I will tell you which is of mine that I like the, the most and how I do it. And I will be honest with you this thing become like my first thing I changed in my kitchen when I was switching from whatever lifestyle I had before to healthy lifestyle. So when I was learning and that was over nine years ago. So even though I was cooking in the house, I'm Polish, we were eating inside still, I learned that it wasn't the healthiest way and I learned a lot while learning all of these processes and and switching. But before I go to my topic, I want to share with you one um, one event that is coming. It's going to happen next week, Wednesday. I don't have a calendar in front of me to tell you which day it is, but let me quickly see if I can find a calendar on my screen so I can I can tell you next week Wednesday is April 17th and we are going to have very nice zoom happening with sport nutritionist and body confidence coach these two ladies they will be sharing um, how they walked through and had the start of their journey to rebuilding relationship with food. Amazing topic, in my opinion, something that I will be um, giving you a couple ideas today as well. But this um, is going to be on a Zoom and it's on Wednesday evening Central Time. If you struggle with any kind of food, relationship you are more than welcome to join and learn how to switch what is the process for healing when you are switching and it's going to be really an amazing um, amazing event the title for that let me see again it's rebuilding your relationship with food it's april 17 7 central 7 30 central time 8 30 eastern so i don't know what time zone you might be watching but um if this evening on wednesday next week works for you just let me know message me messenger i don't know youtube um instagram i don't know where you can be checking this video maybe from this group that i'm recording right now and um and just let me know so i can give you a zoom id and password and my today topic for you is vegetable cooking and the methods. There are four different methods that I would love to share with you guys. And I will tell you which ones are mine that I love the most, but I will be honest with you. I've, I've done it all. I've done it all in order to really find what is my way, what is the way that my family loves and they are going to eat. Because when I started and we are Polish, I was cooking at home, but still I was overweight. I don't have a gallbladder. I was on liver medications and I was um, always tired, sleeping, constipated. You know, the story is long and I'm not going to like go deep into it. But the first method is steaming. So I tried it. I have a pot um, that has a steaming basket that goes into this pot. And I was learning on steaming vegetables for my family as well. Um, I will give you a couple tips that um, is like bringing in better, like in the flavor. And so you can make it into taste better because it shouldn't be just water, veggies, and eat. Um, it's pretty raw. <laughs> I can tell you, I tried it, but it's pretty raw. So steaming the greens that I was talking on the other life, you can all the green leafy stuff steam as well. That will be taking about three to five minutes 
tops but when you want to steam like root vegetables so rooted vegetables then it's from 10 to 15 minutes and that just takes longer so pretty much what do you do wash your veggies <laughs> Chop your veggies the way you want it and leafy greens, you don't have to chop much. You can just, you know, um, put it, the leaves like spinach or some, some like bok choy, the baby bok choy. You don't have to cut it much, but some leaves I will just, you know, uh, ripping off into pieces instead of cutting. Uh, bring the water to boil. And in this whole pot, you will have, I don't know, two inches of water you bring it to um, to boiling and then you put into the basket your veggies in the steaming pot. You cover, the cover should fit pretty well and you cook without opening the time that you know it's going to be good for leaves, for rooted. So you have some timer set up and you don't open this um, this, this whole pot with the steaming basket in it. When it's ready, you remove and just imagine, meanwhile, you might be finishing uh, meat that you want to eat. Meanwhile, you might be finishing some other part of your dish that steaming takes only 10, 3 minutes and you have veggies ready to eat on a plate straight from your pot. So it's hot and ready, but I will give you a couple ideas that will bring the flavor. So obviously colors of these veggies are amazing. You will be so surprised how deep colors on green or even root vegetables, they are so coming um, deep in colors, honest to goodness. But you can do with steaming um, veggies, you can sprinkle them with olive oil and you can sea salt that stuff. So oil will keep the salt in this place instead of dropping it down to the water and your veggies will absorb. So this flavor will be just bring up the veggies, the, whatever flavor they have. Uh, you can put into the water that is boiling two bay leaves, cumin, even you can salt it, that's fine too. But the thing is that water that is boiling will have flavor. You can even put two garlic cloves that I was doing. So um, the greens, if you are doing greens physically and steaming, you can also sprinkle them with pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, uh, almonds, or even walnuts. So it's like a ready to eat salad and a steaming pot. It's really delicious and you will be surprised how those almonds and walnuts are, are taking it. And really when you are taking it from this pot, it's just amazingly, um, amazingly tasting. Uh, with the greens, you also can sprinkle with fresh herbs and that will be like mint, dill, basil, parsley, cilantro, scallops. So you can cut those, chop those uh, a lot better and just use it as, um, as um, um, herbs. So they will be a lot better chopped than the greens you are physically steaming. You can add... Um, fresh lemon. Just squeeze the fresh lemon on top of everything and then cover and count the time for steaming. So anything that you are adding, it's already uh, added and you're steaming for those three, five minutes and everything is steaming at the same time. And obviously when you're doing the greens, the leafy greens, you don't have in the same basket like sweet potatoes. That's not going to go you we are doing one or the other so one after the other if you want to have both but never together such a big difference in the texture the other one that um and steaming was something that was going in my house i was just testing different flavors and different veggies that was going for a while uh, we almost used up the steaming basket and I remember I was even changing stuff like having two steaming levels so I could steam 
um, the root vegetables at the bottom and top was green leaves. So, you know, I was getting like in the more, more advanced paths. But the thing is that it was just a process for me to figure it out everything. And it's a learning process, which gave me choices that my family simply loved. And we learned to eat more veggies this way. And you are losing um, the, at le the, the least uh, um, nutrients from your veggies. You are not losing, you know, nutrients that are in, in the veggies while you are steaming. Okay. The other one is blanching. That's like cooking. Um, so quickly boiling, you can say. So it's a pot, regular pot, no basket, nothing like that. You just wash your veggies, cut them, uh, or you, you know, you just rip them off if they are greens, um, bring water to boil with steaming is the same. You boil the water. When you put the basket, you lower down, uh, the heat to low. So it's just slowly boiling, slowly boiling and just steaming the veggies with with blanching with um, quickly cooking your veggies it will be the same you bring water to boiling you put veggies you want to uh, blanch and you lower down the heat so <clears throat> Let me tell you what are the benefits because this cooking thing, number one, is also quick. You will do three to five minutes with the greens, the leafy greens, and you can do about same 10 to 15 minutes, the rooted vegetables. But um, it brings also the nutrients, it brings the color, and really helps with digestion because with with this quick uh, cooking, you are breaking a little bit better and fiber in the veggies. So it's really better on a digestion process for many, many people. Um, please learn because this is the thing. You may tell me, oh my gosh, I'm so bloated after this cabbage being just steamed. I'm not surprised. So you, when you cook it or when you do it in, in the more next steps that I will be ta telling you, you will see that it's just um, your body is just uh, absorbing it better when it's done in a different way. And that's all about digestion. And this is all that I want to give you all this information so you can learn how your body is digesting too. So with steaming, um, uh, I mean, with blanching, the size depends. So it depends what would you like to have on a plate. You can cut them more so they will cook quicker. You can um, vary um, with the, with the uh, types of veggies. So you can have different kind of roots um, and greasy leaves, of course, uh, separately. Remember about that because they just um, cook and, and are done a lot sooner. Um, that will be pretty much about that, um, about blanching. It's so simple, honest to goodness. You drop it in the, um, boiling water that you, you can salt it. You can add, um, not only salt, but some other herbs or leaves to, to have this water with kind of flavor and just bring up the flavor of veggies when it's cooking. Um, stir fry. That's the third place, and I can tell you that I loved it. Um, it was the next level. It wasn't at the beginning right away. Beginning was this uh, basket and, and steaming. Um, cooking was more like um, I switched with cooking pretty much right away to cooking more soups because obviously soups were having a lot of veggies in, and that was like showing me that I can have protein with these veggies and I learned which one go to the pot first, which one go to the pot later. So I was connecting those veggies later on and having, you know, different uh, protein in it too. And it was a, you know, soup instead of just veggies being cooked and eaten from a plate. Uh, but stir fry was the next level that I was using a lot when I was preparing lunches for my kids to school. And um, probably, I, I don't remember that, they are already, you know, adult and teenager, but um, 10, nine years ago when I was learning and starting this stuff, 
they were asking me to have lunch for school and I wanted for them to have a warm and nice lunch and healthy. So stir fry was really helpful and I will tell you why. Uh, number one is very nutritious and very delicious if you can add more than veggies and you obviously can. Let me tell you what you can do. So with uh, stir fry, you can use oil or you can use water or you can use both. So you will see when added to have both or just when it's going to be an oil. And something like Chinese cabbage, bok choy, uh, sliced li, um, tiny sliced uh, carrots, mushrooms, onions, and even sweet potatoes are working fine. Um, and the cooking times is just few minutes. It's honest to goodness, few minutes because you are using something that it's a cold, um, it's called, I, I was using frying pan the most of the time, but you can use a wok. So if you have a wok, you can put a lot more stuff, but I had a frying pan. So before you start, you will heat up the oil um, and pretty much everything is sliced and ready. You will, you will slightly, sli you will slowly put all of the veggies um, into the uh, frying pan. With the oil, it's important to mention that you should be using oil that is um, with a high smoke temperature, so you will avoid to the oxidation, which I was talking about some other life, and all of those chemicals that go with it are just not going to be created during this stir fry. So I suggest you go with sesame oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil. I've done it all. I can tell you I love the most um, avocado oil, but is, um, sesame oil is really good too. It's just with the sesame oil, honestly, you you it's enough when you only brush your frying pan or your wok, just brush it off with this oil. Don't make the oil laying down and warming up at the bottom because it's going to be too much of oil. Um, and slowly you add your veggies from, you know, the roots, the harder they, they, they are um, taking to, to um, soften. And, and at the end, you can add anything that it's like a leaf. Um, and variety, variety of veggies that you can steam. There's like no end of your ideas. I will, I will give you a couple ideas what to connect that are bringing the best cooking experience, the best flavors, and, um, and you can connect that with brown rice. You can connect it with uh, eggs, so to have protein with this pretty much um, st um, stir-fry veggies, or you can add uh, ground beef or ground turkey, and you, you are having a full dish on one, I mean, full plate on a one, one cooking. That was really, really good um, way of having ready lunch for kids. And they were taking it with them with a thermos. So they took, uh, they took it to school um, in a thermos and they had it hot. They, they still had it hot. So you add about half of an inch of water. And if you wanted to um, saute veggies more before adding rice and obviously you add rice that is um, there's already cooked rice <laughs> you're not gonna cook the rice with the veggies that are already uh, stir frying you can add eggs um, after adding rice you can add meat after adding rice as well uh, I was adding meat that was already pre-made so I was doing uh, a meat separately like even you know day before I had like a, a pot ready of meat that were um, ground beef or turkey that were already stir fried before so I was just having it ready in the morning and putting on the stir fry with veggies and for the meat and rice it was just warming up it was just warming up process it was ready to eat, but the veggies were was just making at the moment. And same with eggs. When I was dropping just the egg into the veggies and rice, the egg was just, you know, fresh, cracked egg. 
Um, what you can connect with the stir fry? Well, let me give you a couple ideas because those are really good. Onion, carrot, and snow peas, my favorite and my younger daughter favorites because she loves snow peas. Chinese cabbage, mug bean sprouts, and skyland and um, scale. Um, scallions, I'm so sorry for my pronunciation, leek, carrots, and red peppers. That's very delicious, but also I can tell you, it's very healthy for your gut flora, for building your um, healthy bacteria, because leek is one of the very gentle um, fiber that it's pretty much everybody um, absorbs it very well. There is there is no bacteria that doesn't like it, and it's really really helpful with build, building a very good healthy um, uh, flora, mm -hmm. probiotics pretty much in your gut. Onion, mushroom, zucchini, and dry basil. It's the favorite of my older daughter. She loved mushrooms, and anywhere I was adding mushrooms, she was just having so much uh, good and healthy lunch. She was so, like, even mushroom soups, when she was taking to school, she was so happy. Um, then you have some squashes, different types, like don't hang up on one color because squashes with um, different colors and garlic are really good also with the stir frying and adding whatever protein, if you want to add or not, but it, you can always go into deep uh, connection and then you have a dinner, not only stir fry. And the last one, the fourth one that I want to share with you guys is baking. Baking veggies, um, I got into it pretty fast. I wasn't waiting. I wasn't just learning, you know, one, one by one, which I'm giving you right now. I moved to this one pretty fast. I was just having a glass, a big one that like is the biggest that you can fit into the oven. I was putting any kind of veggies I love or I knew my family loves. I was sprinkling with oil. Avocado oil was the best in this place. Olive oil is okay too because you're not gonna you're not gonna have the high temperatures with that, um, and you can use any kind of um, <clears throat> herbs uh, to um, pull up the flavors and make it even more flavory. I was putting anything came into my mind when I was baking veggies. I learned how to make in home all of those mixes like taco mix, you know, burrito mix for the herbs. So I was learning how to make those mixes instead of buy them. So those are easy and simple. Those are just connecting several different herbs and you mix them in a blender and you put them in a jar and here you go. You have your own taco mix or uh, I have taco, I have um, burrito and I have one more, I don't remember. What is the name? But cutting the veggies the way you want to have them, so pretty much, you know, like bite-sized pieces, pieces that your fork will just cut and have them. Um, and what are those? A variety is huge. So uh, maybe I will just check what is the baking information just to make sure that I will give you all of the information. Yes, baking is any kind of veggies. Um, you can cover, you don't have to cover. Mostly I wasn't covering. You bake it between 300 to 400 tops. 400 is tops because of the oil. Uh, 30 to 45 minutes. So like I was poking the veggies sometimes to learn which ones are tender, which are not. And that's all about baking pretty much. It's simple, but what kind of veggies? Roots and squashes are something that you can easily connect. And here you have carrots, parsnip, turnip, um, root tuberb, um, bad rock, uh, celery root, um, budrock root, acorn squash, um, um, kabacha squash, butternut squash, and sweet potatoes. Butternut and sweet potatoes are my favorite. Um, then you have the veggies that are amazing and a fat burning process. So I was adding them. I didn't bake them separately. I was just simply adding them when I was baking my favorites from the other list. 
So that is a daikon radish, leek, amazing leek that I already mentioned before, scallion, scallions, <clears throat> turnip, onion, and celery. So onion I was going heavily and I was using different colors of the onions with my baking and I was adding garlic big time. So if you love garlic, just don't forget about that because it's really, really, really high yummy when it's baked. And you have other vegetables that I love and I was adding. Uh, so everything, when I add it, I, I simply mix it. I, it was just, you know, those are the best tools in your kitchen. So I was just mixing it and then, you know, oil and all the, the um, herbs that I wanted sprinkle just was going on top. <clears throat> those are broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage and Brussels sprouts. <clears throat> as much as cabbage, I probably wasn't putting into baking, I will be honest, maybe a couple times, but spr Brussels sprouts a lot. And we do that a lot. I love them separately. I love them in a mix with any veggies. They are simply delicious. So that's the topic for today that I prepared for you. I have many more about cooking and having the ideas for healthy living, but also I will be switching topics in between, you know, some knowledge information. This is very practical what I shared today with you, but I will be switching so you can learn what I do and you can um, practice what I do. And I hope this was helpful. You can comment, you can ask me any questions you want. If you wanna message me privately, do it via messenger. I don't know, comment. Um, and I know there is a messaging via um, YouTube and Instagram as well. So any kind of way you wanna reach me out, just, um, just reach out, message me. I will get back to you with the answers for your questions and see you next time. And if you want to take a look into the Zoom that is coming on Wednesday, message me too so I can give you a password and Zoom ID and password for that. Um, for that Zoom that is happening on Wednesday and the topic is rebuild your relationship with food. So see you Wednesday, and if not, um, sooner, maybe before that, I will be doing another Zoom for you guys on Monday. The weekend is coming, so I wish you amazing weekend, beautiful weather. It is here, so I wish the same for you, and see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.